Highlights from quarterfinal one, and it would be Dane Warren and Luke Bennett starting from the front row of the grid. Bennett, though, with a better launch on the inside, and that race down towards the first corner, and it was he that would take the race lead right over the curb at the first apex. Marcel Chinchik also joining the mix as he would fight his way down to the hairpin. Looking backwards, though, it was Patrick Holtzman sending one down the inside of the hairpin, also causing chaos behind Oliveira into the side of Mikel Gala. Holtzman would get a penalty for his issues into the hairpin, but that wasn't served just yet. He was still having to fend off Tim Yarstra, who was down the inside of the hairpin. Nikodem Vishnevsky also making his way through, trying to make his way up inside that top five. Holtzman was able to hang on. There was side by side behind that with Yarstra and Gala coming through that fast kick before the Mercedes Arena section, heading down into the tight left hand of Vishnevsky, slowed down by Patrick Holtzman and thrown right into the clutches of the heroic driver of Gala. Yashal was out wide, would rejoin making it three wide with Oliveira, which was always going to end in tears. Unfortunately, it was so for Tim Yashal. Also, some contact with Reina Talvar and Kevin Ellis Jr. heading up towards Mobile One. Oliveira having to deal with Gala straight down the inside in the fight for seventh position, allowing Nikodem Vishnevsky just to walk away a little bit. They would all be progressed up a single position after Patrick Holtzman's penalty was finalised after the first lap, dropping him back to 11th position, one clear of Tim Yashal. The final spot inside those transfer positions was being held by the heroic driver of Gala, who was starting to struggle a little bit on tyres. Oliveira all over the rear end of him. Isaac Price, Reina Talvar and Kevin Ellis Jr., those drivers in tow, around a second clear of Nikodem Vishnevsky in fifth position, who was just walking his way away from this train. Oliveira was looking for any opportunity to make his way through as they would cross over the halfway point of the race. And it was Gala that was able just to hang on. He would eventually drop back courtesy of those tyre woes uh, and he would drop back to ninth position before having to deal with the pressures of Kevin Ellis Jr. All fighting over those all-important points. The Apex Racing Team driver after early issues in the race was trying to find any way past the Dane ahead of him. And this would be one major assistance from him. A very much a freebie uh, for Ellis Jr. after the mistake from Mikel Gala. He would go straight on at the hairpin and would rejoin behind. Then Kevin Ellis Jr. was trying to make his way past uh, Reina Talvar in a very similar way. It would work out in a similar mistake, but not quite to the same degree. And it left us with this beautiful bit of side-by-side -side action off of the hairpin, up towards the Fast King, up towards the Mercedes Arena section. Kevin Ellis Jr. almost, almost making his way through, but Reina Talvar would just about hang on, going through the Mercedes Arena section, around the outside for Kevin Ellis Jr., the inside from Reina Talvar. They would still be side-by-side -side out of that section, up towards Mobile One remaining side by side the advantage would be towards Kevin Ellis Jr but Reina Tower was trying desperately to hang on it wouldn't work on that occasion and it would be Ellis Jr taking over that all important eighth position and some extra points for it unfortunately would not be progressing in that position you'd have to move forward a couple to rejoin this kind of train Luke Bennett coming out of the final corner to win the quarter final one Day Warren behind Marcel Chinchik in third James Baldwin Nikodem Vishnevsky and Kaki Oliveira the top six. Isaac Price, Kevin Ellis Jr., Reina Talvar, Patrick Holtzman, Tim Yarshall and Mikhail Gala, the six we would say goodbye to. There were still six spots available though for semi-final one as quarter-final two would get underway. This time it was Josh Rogers starting from pole position alongside Jeffrey Rietveld and it was the Porsche that would hold the advantage into the first corner. Drawing backwards in the background, Bonner House was not able to get himself involved in the fight but was still hanging on inside the top five. And then there was all of this behind. Moritz Lerner, Victor Veloso, Ryan Barneveld all embrawled in this fight way outside of the top six. Some side-by-side -side ahead of that as Robbie Stableford was dropped back behind Peter Berryman and there was a spin for Ryan Barneveld. Spun around coming through the Mercedes Arena section. Moritz Lerner was the one that was trying to get his way through. Out of the final corner, Rogers was dominant again in quarterfinal two. Rietveld behind. Erhan Yovsky and Dennis Schoeniger being in third and fourth. Then Bonnerhaus and Thomas Tatler inside the top six. Tight fights for those across the line behind. Peter Berryman, Robbie Stableford, Moritz Lerner, Lucas Muller, Ryan Barneveld and Victor Veloso. The six drivers that would no longer progress.
And on to highlights for quarter final three. It was Brzezinski that would be starting from pole position as he would try and fend off Yoni Tormela on the race down towards the first corner. Some big drama already in qualifying in this Yuri Toman and Maximilian Benecker starting right the way down the order. Same with Nils Nyox as well. They would all have to fight their way up. And in the background, you were seeing a couple of those attempts as it was Yuri Toman trying to get straight down the inside, trying to move his way up into seventh position with an audacious send down into turn two. There were a couple of big ones as well, including one from Yuri Toman that would be a bit too much. Mitchell de Jong being half spun around, then pushed back by Tommy Ustgard. Yuri Toman inside the top six, but he would receive a penalty for his efforts, as well as Jeff Giassi that was trying to get himself back into the mix side by side in the background between Benneke and Nyox, as there was even more contact. Jamie Fluke being escorted out wide, as there was the slowdown penalty for Yuri Toman. He would drop outside of the top six and would have a really tall order to get himself back involved in it, dropping back behind even Jamie Fluke as well. Eventually he would pick his way back past that, but not inside the top six, which would be occupied by Brzezinski, by Pejic, by Tormula, by Siggy, by De Jong and by Ustgard as well. Yuri Toman, championship leader, out in quarterfinal three. Fluke, Benneke, Giassi, Ian Porter scoring his first points of the season and Niels Nyox rounding out the 12 drivers. Four spots still up for grabs for semi-final two as quarter-final four would get underway. Dara McCormack, after his win in ESLR one round four, would lead from pole position. Enzo Benito behind, Mac Backer behind that. They'd all be single file inside the top five out of the first corner. And it was behind where all the drama was. A little bit of contact into the first corner between Eamon Murphy and Phil Dinez. And a big bit of contact as Ulas Ozildarim was sending his way straight down the inside of Lasse Sorensen. We're given a little bit of a half spin for the Furia driver as he would return his way to the racetrack going through turn two and three. A big spin though for Johan Half heading through the fast kink up towards the Mercedes Arena section. And then shockingly enough, ahead of all of that, it was five wide as they were all jostling very hard for position as it was Ulas Ozildrum coming through, Lassa Sorensen, Eamon Murphy, Graham Carroll and Risto Cap all coming together in one big cluster on the exit of the Mercedes Arena section. A big send down the inside between Murphy and Sorensen was almost causing a little bit of extra drama. And then Yuri Kazdorp for Maus was trying trying to get a podium, looking down the inside of Enzo Benito, almost sending it in a little bit too deep as Benito had been dropped back behind Mac Backham, 3.1 seconds behind an incredible drive from Dara McCormack. Phil Dinez and Oscar Bixrud all battling it out for the final couple of positions inside the top six. Nothing giving in all of that. Bixrud getting through. Dinez dropping back behind, but still 2.5 seconds clear of Ulas Ozildarim, who was closing in in the final stages. Dara McCormack, though, would take to the final corner to win quarter final four ahead of Backham, ahead of Enzo Benito, Yuri Kazdorp, Oscar Bixrud, and Phil Dinez. Those going out Ulas Ozildarim, Eamon Murphy, Lasse Sorensen, Johan Hath, Graham Carroll and Risto Caput.